Turbo Conquering Mega Eagle. Right, we've been incredibly busy on the lathe, uh, making up a burner assembly. Like everything else, this is adjustable, different nozzles and whatnot, because um, we're, we're probably going to take a bit of tinkering before we get things right and we intend to run a few different appliances but this is the this is the basic first attempt at, uh, at a burner sorry this was the first attempt at a burner They're definitely temporary brass block soldered in there this is just a just a um, uh, see a flame I suppose in the first place that's done with now bye bye um, okay so anyway uh, the the burner mark one proper um, Started off as a bit of hex, and where do we go from here? Uh, turned down a couple of M8 bolts, both with holes in them. That one doesn't have a restricted orifice, that one has the restricted orifice for the oil supply, which goes in the front of the burner assembly here. And I don't know if you can make that out. The tip of that uh, oil feed, which, which is pressure feed, lines up with the uh, orifice for the Air feed. Um, the air feed comes through this, through this, um, this bolt, this pipe, whatever, union, banjo. No, not. But it's there. Um, then we have a blanking plug at the back that's been bored out just to make life easier when we're machining it. Um, gets blanked off by that uh, custom M12 bolt. Yeah, we've got a couple of copper washers to go in here anyway. And then the um, the nozzle itself, the burning nozzle. Um, at the minute has a 8-hole uh, 3.2mm um, but this is made out of an M8 bolt so we can we can play around with different nozzle sizes if I actually find some sharp drill bits that are anything other than an eighth I suppose um, oil in there, air in there this sits this is the feed pipe for the for the, for the foundry uh, this sits in here, I like this Turned up a couple of a uh, couple of fans there, and we can we can centre this in those flanges, and then grip them with these uh, M6 bolts that will go in there, and just just grip these pipes. Um, just gonna just gonna assemble this, showing you out of the burner. We'll, we'll assemble it, put um, put a couple of copper washers. I don't know if we need them or not, and a bit of sealant around these high temperature sealant, and then. We'll try and fire it up, I suppose. See if we can melt some aluminum. There it is, all assembled. High pressure air, oil feed, burners in the back there. Nicely centered, I think you'll agree. Uh, you're looking at the arse end of it there. And a nice pipe going onto the flange made up. Pointing at the, uh, what's that?
wet. It's going out again, isn't it? thing going uh took a little bit of bugging about we got a we got a blow on now and behold look at that beast guy hey it's uh we're having a little bit of trouble regulating the oil right now obviously when we touch the uh when we touch the oil feed knob it's uh it's the tank's got to depressurize before it has any effect before it slows the oil up and uh the other way around if you want more oil then it's got to pressurize the tank before we end up with more oil so we've got to have a look at that but right now we're going to dump a sack full of um aluminum cans then what are they called aluminum aluminum see what happens do you want to take the lid off uh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. oh my goodness oh my goodness it's so hot I don't know. Maybe All right, we're gonna have to put the camera down, otherwise we'll all die. Most of the time we were doing the burning, it was on tickover. Uh, it's got a truly phenomenal amount of power, and uh, what yeah, I think I think this is running on a on a one mil jet at the minute. So if you can increase the jet size, the blow is going to be a limiting factor here. Um, so I think I think when we when we start trying to do iron, um, we're going to need a higher capacity blower. Uh, obviously, a smaller furnace because we're not going to we're not going to attempt large quantities of iron because we'll die. Yeah, I'm gonna, gonna get a, a proper 
visible, some tongs, and we've got a couple of projects underway already that, that will be a lot better if we can cast some components. So hopefully before too long we'll get back to you with um, another video as if it's actually making something useful. Turbo Concrete Mega Eagle. Um, please like, subscribe, share. Thank you very much. Cheers.